In the course of its existence, mankind has proven time and again that it is capable of breathtaking inventions that surpass even the most advanced ideas. While today, for example, the race to travel to Mars has begun, 100 years ago people could not even have had a clear idea of what space was all about. However, it is not only modern times that have brought spectacular inventions and technologies. Humans have always created remarkable structures, found incredible solutions to everyday problems, and put all their creativity at the service of their own species. The following technologies and achievements can hardly be explained, especially today, under the impression of the possibilities of that time. Are you fascinated by mysterious things and incredible discoveries? Then give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Hidden Worlds, and join us on our adventure. Building Techniques It is above all the Egyptian pyramids that have been the focus of scientific attention for centuries. Even 2,000 years ago, people were impressed by how something like this could be built with the muscle and willpower of a people alone. So it's no wonder that the Pyramid of Cheops, for example, has always been one of the ancient wonders of the world. But the pyramids have also been described by some as a work of aliens for many decades. However, research has not remained inactive, and even if the architecture and construction of many pyramids is still a mystery to this day, it has been possible to unlock some of the secrets of the pharaoh's architecture over the course of time. While it is already certain that the construction of the pyramids was only possible with the help of incredible numbers of people, thousands of workers were working on some of the pyramids at any one time. The alignment and procurement of materials, in particular, remained unclear for many years. It is now certain that many of the huge stone blocks were created in the ancient Tura quarry. As it was sometimes impossible to roughly carve the stone with the tools of the time, it sometimes took months to carve a single block. Here too, the mass of people was an advantage. Thousands of stonemasons worked simultaneously to produce the required number of stone blocks. Furthermore, researchers now know that the orientation of the pyramids was by no means a coincidence. Some were aligned with the sun on holy days, while others were aligned with the night sky at the time. It is now also known that the Nile played an important role in transporting the materials. The river had a completely different course at that time and was located near the larger pyramid fields. All in all, it is still incredibly impressive to this day to see the means by which the remarkable pyramid structures were built over several decades and the very different techniques used to construct them. Greek Fire To this day, Greek fire remains a great mystery to researchers. This is not at least due to the fact that there are no confirmed finds of these weapons and the records from antiquity are so ambiguous that it was not possible to simply reproduce this impressive weapon. Based on the current state of research, the Byzantines are said to have mounted a weapon on their ships around 670 BC with which they could simply set fire to enemy galleys and warships. While burning oil barrels and arrows were already the norm of the art of war at this time, this weapon was regarded as something like the machine gun of the time and was to change the course of entire wars. It is said that knowledge of this weapon came to the Byzantine Empire from Egypt. There, it was kept in a state secret and ensured that the Byzantines had a decisive advantage over other peoples on the Mediterranean. It is said that the fire could simply be shot from a kind of weapon at other ships floating nearby and thus set the enemy ship on fire. While the existence of such weapons is also documented from other parts of the world, an indication that the knowledge must have spread from Byzantinium, it is still not entirely clear what exactly it was made of. Theories range from a mixture of saltpeter and water to phosphates. However, it remains a great mystery how the engineers of the time were able to produce such a destructive weapon without modern methods and without something like gunpowder. Cement that doesn't crack. Rome is a city that was built to last. Some of the most impressive buildings in European history still bear witness to this today. One reason why these buildings have stood the test of time and show hardly a trace of decay lies in a secret of Roman architecture that has puzzled experts for a long time. According to some researchers, the cement used to construct many of the historic buildings is even more durable than the materials used today. 
The secret lies in a mixture of unique natural deposits found around Rome. Made from a mixture of volcanic ash, seawater, and other natural materials, Roman cement has one property in particular that is still impressive today. It does not crack. This meant that cement could even be used to build such impressive shapes as the dome of the Parthenon. Many researchers of the time must have thought about the building material and created the compounds that have survived to this day. The cement also still works, which makes it flexible during the construction phase and prevents it from cracking at some point due to tight statics. A true miracle that became one of the cornerstones of the Eternal City. The First Seismoscope Until well into the Middle Ages, earthquakes were perceived primarily as the wrath of the gods rather than as a logical consequence of tectonic shifts in the earth. The fear of these natural phenomena was enormous. After all, earthquakes could destroy even modern cities just like that. In China, a seismoscope was therefore developed over 2,000 years ago to observe and measure the Earth's vibrations. This enabled researchers to make their own records of earthquakes and record them in the famous chronicles of the Chinese dynasties. The mathematician and astronomer Zhang Heng developed a vessel with eight dragon heads for the rough cardinal points and a vibration template. Based on the movements of the vessel, he was able to recognize quite accurately how strong an earth movement was and from which direction it came. When researchers rebuilt the first seismoscope under the conditions of the time, they realized not only that it worked, but that it was amazingly accurate even compared to today's technology, and therefore gave people important information about earthquakes in the region. Automated Doors Automated doors are taken for granted in today's world and we encounter them in everything from supermarkets to trains. But who would have thought the ancient Greeks had already developed a system that opened and closed doors without the help of humans? In this specific case, such a system was found in a temple in Alexandria. It is said that the mathematician Heron of Alexandria developed a system that made use of the fire that burned in the temples. Together with some containers filled with water and connected to the fire, the liquid expanded after the flame was ignited and the doors of the temple opened automatically thanks to a hydraulic system. This meant that the temple not only opened for the pilgrims in front of the door, but also presented an almost divine image. Doors that opened for the pilgrims without the influence of humans and thus apparently by the hands of gods. According to Heron's records, the system was later used elsewhere, for example, at the city gates of Alexandria. At the time, the city was considered one of the largest centers in the world and a center of attraction for scholars. Armored Carriages Since the First World War at the latest, tanks have become the norm on the world's battlefields. In the Second World War, they were even more decisive for the success or failure of the battles. However, the invention of the first armored vehicle took place many centuries before the World Wars and can be traced back to the universal genius Leonardo da Vinci. The armored car had a conical shape and was presented to his master, the Zophars, as the ultimate weapon of war. He sent them the first design proposals as early as 1487. However, the armored car was probably never actually built. Today, it is disputed among experts whether the round chariot would actually have been able to operate on the battlefield. Although it would have offered protection for the occupants, its weight would have made it too difficult to move. Replicas based on its prototypes have produced very different results. All in all, however, his designs could have made a difference due to their deterrent effects alone. However, it is unlikely that such a vehicle was actually used in the Middle Ages. Steam Turbine The Industrial Revolution is mainly due to the steam turbine. Suddenly, people's strength was no longer so important as machines could be powered easily. In fact, the effect of steam had already been discovered in early Greece, although it was never put to productive use. The so-called aleopile, which was also invented by Heron of Alexandria, was a small fire basin with a ball placed above it. When the water in the basin evaporated, the steam propelled the ball. However, the concept was never taken any further and therefore never developed any real practical use. 
This is the reason why the Industrial Revolution did not take place 2,000 years earlier. It's impressive what inventions and achievements were already possible back then and without any complex tools. Do you have any examples of things that would also have fitted into this video because they were impressive inventions?